the fat minute. Oof. Oof. I'm ready for this. I think I am. There's never a great time like the person. Hi guys. <laughs> fan is on um oh my goodness i feel like i don't remember how to do these things anymore but we're gonna we're gonna flex it we're going to flex it a whole lot but yeah happy new year guys I cannot i cannot ex begin to explain where i've been for the past three months but you would be finding out during the course of the year as we go on sometime but for the most part i've just been taking a break and just leaving and just trying to um, navigate life you'll be seeing new spaces uh, my family moved um, and yeah some of the things that i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be um, chit chatting i'm going to be having more of this but more sit down videos with you guys and yeah i really cannot wait but today instead of just rambling on and on and on, 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 on <laughs> about um where i've been and all those things um, we introduce myself to you guys, or but on a more deeper level. Um, thing, I just I, I went online and searched for questions about things that you guys probably don't know about me, or probably have an idea and just want to talk about. So I'm going to be talking about asking myself 25 questions, or yeah, it's going to be, going to be running through 25 questions and enjoying with you guys. So let them. So number one is. Um, what is your full name? What is my full name? My full name is Olajide Ajire Sharon. Um, Olajide Ajire is a compound name. So Ajire is not my middle name. Olajide Ajire is my surname. Yes. Um, that is a whole new topic entirely. But yeah, Olajide Ajire Sharon is my full name. And I, had, I don't think I've ever mentioned it here. Maybe we had it in passing here and there. But I've never mentioned it here. So I said, let me drop that in there. Number two, what are five things you cannot live without to be honest when i saw this question i don't even know which, which part of it am i going to be answering am i going to be answering based on like the physical things that i cannot live without or general things so i think i'll just go for physical things material things that i cannot live without um so i can live without most things like i don't know okay let me let me, let me start by let me say my lip balm, stroke lip gloss, whichever one. I'm, I'm, I might not do any makeup, which is most of the time, like like ninety percent of the time. <laughs> but I always have that even in my bag. My sunshade, oh my god, yes. My sunshades, my shades, yeah, sunglasses. Um, my rings. I always. Funny thing is, even in my car, sometimes I forget. Sometimes I never use. You might never see me with it, but I always feel like something is missing. Yeah, I always feel like something is missing on my body. You get. So I might not even use any accessory besides my ring. And then people, and then people have said, oh, are you married? Are you engaged? I'm not married. I'm not engaged yet. But these are just part of the things I just love to always wear. If you check my previous videos, I always wear them. I oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. I think I mentioned to me, I mentioned um, my lip balm or lip gloss. I mentioned my sunshades, my sunnies. Um... What, what else? I, I really cannot think of any other thing. Maybe my maybe a bracelet. I always I always usually wear this um, bracelet. Yeah, something on my wrist. I used to wear a lot of wrist watch, wrist watches, but I don't know for some reason I just I just stopped. Um, but I I replaced that with um, re, um, bracelets and beads and whatnot. I want to actually have a stack of it, a stack of beads. I've just never really put up the courage to. So maybe that's for what else? What's, what's something I always have with me? I usually used to have um, earphones, but I stopped after a while. So I can't really say I can't live without because I, I, I can't do without. But I always feel like, oh my goodness, I always have a notepad and a Bible with me every single time. Like, people that know me closely know that I always, like, steady. <laughs> have a notepad and a bio with me oh my goodness i just thought about that and that's yeah then my phone 
So yeah, let me let me let me pick it from the beginning. So I think um, my phone. I, I I always I'm always with my phone. I am always with. So is that my phone or my iPad? I'm always with one or both of them. Um, I'm always with. I'm always wearing a ring, or most of the time wear a ring or have a ring around me. Sometimes I have them in. I have at least one ring in my bag. It's just it's just a thing. It's just an accessory. I just feel empty without them. Two, a lip balm or a lip gloss. Um, that's three. It's sun a sun shade with sunglasses. Then a, a notepad and a bio. That's five. Yes. <laughs> I took so long. <laughs> Number three, who has influenced your life the most? I think the person who has influenced my life the most has to be, ah, I have quite a few people for different reasons. But, it's, if, if, but let, let me say, if you're somebody that I could run to for anything, even that is, it'd be hard. For, but for people for different things, but who has influenced my life the most? I'll say my mom. Yeah, I think I would just say my mom. I know I can always talk to her. I've learned a lot from my mom in a lot, in a, like, on a great level so i think the person that influenced my life the most is my mom yes but generally every other person my mentor wura uh, my best friend and yeah, um, the next question mom. is what is your favorite place what is your favorite place you've ever traveled and the favorite place i've ever traveled to would definitely be dubai been to dubai and i loved it and i'm definitely going to go again at least one more time and i know i'm definitely not going to go just once i'm definitely going again and again but i definitely loved dubai Dubai was it was it was a blast like my dubai chronicles oh my god my dubai chronicles was epic i remember very well that that, that, that they said that my family members were saying especially my uncle i remember my uncle saying one of my uncles sorry saying that every other person i went my family members Every other person followed me to Dubai. I was the one that I really wanted to go to Dubai. Then every other person followed me. That's how much I enjoyed Dubai. I really, really did enjoy Dubai. That's the only place out of the country, out of Nigeria I've been to. So I really did enjoy Dubai. Um, what is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show, I think I've mentioned it a few times here, once or twice here. Um, it's definitely Skinny Girl in Transit. Can watch that show. Oh, I don't watch. I'm not. Funny thing is, I'm not even a show person. I'm not someone who watches a lot of series. But I don't even know if I have a favorite movie. I feel like I clicked onto a favorite movie. Like I said, this has to be my favorite movie because I love watching it. But I can't remember. It. I can't remember what movie that was. But if there's a if, it, if there's a series that if it's not my favorite movie, that's probably what I would have said as well. If there's a series or a show that sticks with me, love. Skinny Girl in Transit. But if it's like a TV show, like a talk show thing, um, it has to be The Real. It's not a Nigerian show. I just love The Real. I love all the ladies, past and present. Uh, most of the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> past and present. But all the ladies currently on The Real right now, all the proper, all the ladies on The Real right now are my favorite. Yeah, ladies. Yes. Yeah. What <laughs> are, you, are you passionate about? I'm passionate about I'm passionate about giving people experiences. Like everything that I do right now, everything that um, I hope to still do, and everything that I have been thinking about for like the longest or even recently or whatnot. Even just this YouTube, I think everything that I'm most passionate about, like in the de from the depth of my heart, is definitely giving people experiences. For everything I always want to do, what comes to my mind is how can people enjoy themselves, and really, really, that's that's truly who I, who I am, and the things that the kind of things that drive me when I do things. So in wedding planning, event planning, um, definitely giving people experiences and letting everybody that. The, the clients, the guests, everybody that is involved, the parents, if it's, a, if it's a wedding, to have fun and enjoy themselves and keep it memorable. I always, give, I always love that. When I'm planning my own birthdays and I always try to create experiences around it, I always want people to remember why, remember, remember what happened. I remember, I love giving experiences. Um, and every other thing, like even in the sales of my, the accessories I sell, I always like to give people like, amazing pieces whereby they never forget because to me it's an experience being able to have something beautiful pay for something that you enjoy so give people experience something i'm very very passionate about and yeah <laughs> then two biggest lessons you've learned from previous relationships Ooh, child number one would definitely be do not lose yourself you the biggest person or the most what's that english yeah 
do not use yourself let me just say it like that do not lose yourself um you have you have only you to um compete against so stick with you um number two would definitely be um love yourself i don't know if i can say they are interwoven but to me personally i i think they are very different love yourself so much because nobody's going to love you like you love yourself and no I, and the, the only way to teach people how to love you is by loving yourself so yeah that those are my two those, my, those, those have been my two biggest lessons from my past relationship what do you look for in a friend what do i usually look for in a friend which is so funny this is funny, this is a funny question because i used to be someone that ups on to friendship the friendship boss so much without like without thinking about it twice and um in the last i would say in the last four or five years thereabouts i've really taken time to like regroup like every single time that i've had to ask myself especially my friend or my acquaintance or especially my friend or just a work colleague or whatnot like the the i've had to like program myself so bad loyalty and trust those two things are very very big for me people who are very very down to her also someone who um, loves god definitely <laughs> definitely because our conversation cannot flow someone that yeah <laughs> yeah somebody yeah and it's someone that can that could possibly give good advice like someone i can talk to and can listen i love people who listen i really do love people who listen yeah, any other thing i can't remember right now but those are some of the things that i look forward i look for in a friend what did you learn a little too late <laughs> What did I learn a little too late? Self love. I, I learned self love. I knew about it, but learning it to the extent whereby I understood it and it sank in, and not just people just saying it, it sank in, and I had to actually do a lot of things about it. Oh my god. Self love. I learned that too late, but at least I learned it. At least I'm glad I did. It really runs very really deep. Because I used to be, there was a time in my life where I didn't love myself. Self love is something that I wish I knew I learned about a long time ago. What is your biggest perspective? People that don't listen, I hate, I, it eeks me, eek, it gives me the eek when people don't listen. It annoys, like, oh my goodness, I can't over, I can't overemphasize it. I hate when people don't listen. And it's in the little things. Like, it's in the little things. Oh Jesus. Um, yeah. what is my biggest fear i think my biggest fear is not being able to enjoy life to the fullest currently um something i saved even on my phone i'm going to put it up um after i'm going to put it up um right now yeah i'm going to put it up right now it's a quote that is on my phone that's like that's my screensaver right now and it says dear daisy this oh he died for the fight, I can't remember where I heard it from. Something that not like of dear Daisy, you only get to live this life once, there's no real soul. So I can't remember exactly how it is written, but something like on this line. So yeah. I that you only get one chance at this life, one shot, and you have to enjoy it to the fullest. That's something I live by and then I think, yeah, that is that is my biggest fear, not having to live life to the fullest. So in everything I want in everything I do and everything I want to do, I should do it with all my heart and let it all out so no matter the, so i something i waste up no matter the, how much you pay me i will take every job no matter how much you pay me as though you've paid me the most because yeah i want to be happy i did every single thing i've done i would do in life so how I, I would i do in life so yeah what what is one thing that gets you constant, constantly excited what gets me constantly excited weddings planning events gets me excited any day like any day i know i cannot overemphasize it it gets me excited every single time like there's nothing that gets me excited like planning an event oh my god people who are always around me when i'm planning an event no i can't i will go non-stop about it i'm always talking about it that's how much i love to plan events love love it love as in love it <laughs> love it so much i love planning events yeah what is one song that constantly puts you in a good mood i would have initially said that any song from dvd or your boy i'm good or any worship song i'm good but yeah as true as those are 
there's this song that has stuck with me since 2019 or even earlier but i'm sure of 2019 2019 true baby and kiss daniel oh my goodness i don't even know how what i related to the song before which i think i did but the song relates to me on the more deeper level because i had i used to have I had a bride at the time where that was our song like and then she messages me about that song. So they saying our song. That was our song. Anytime we always hang out, that was the song we were always jamming to. Like if I'm driving or anything, we always play this song. It was our song. On our wedding day, when the song came on during the after party, she sought me out for us to dance. <laughs> yes. That song means a lot to me. And he had like Loki has like a meaning to me that it's like you guys Yes, guys, everyone understand. Um, what places are in your travel bucket list? On my travel bucket list, I have. I definitely want to go to Greece. It's like my dream destination. Um, yeah, I definitely want to go to Greece. I want to go to Cape Verde. I hope that's correct to be pronouncing it. I want to go to Cape Verde. I actually want to go to South Africa. I definitely, I think I want to actually definitely go to South Africa. How many places? yeah at least for now yeah those are some of the top places i don't know like comment on comments below if comment below if if like how do people choose their favorite destinations or how do people know what they like because i don't remember i don't know oh when i say oh I, I like water or i don't like water i really am not like a person that will be saying no oh, because i like water do you, it took me a while for I even said, okay, I would really, really like to go to Greece. And I even don't know why. Because I'm just like, it looks like it's a very, very beautiful place. Santorini, I think it was um, Stephanie Coca's wedding. Stephanie Coca, there in Okum. Our wedding was when I said, like, this place is so beautiful. I would really like to go to Greece. And then from that, I've been seeing Greece. I've been seeing the pictures of Greece for the longest. And I've never thought about it. I've, I've always said it's beautiful. I would go there. But it's never been a thing of, oh, I have to go there. And... I I really know how you guys do it. So maybe you guys can explain to me how you guys choose favorite destinations. What's the weirdest thing you do? Talk to myself. I think I that's like the weirdest thing I do. One thing I said, <laughs> I did something. If I'm talking to myself in traffic and then somebody is driving by me and looking at me funny, I pick up my phone and after I'm on the phone, I'm talking to nobody. I'm just talking to myself. I can be planning an entire event like that. I'm talking to myself. I'm probably giving myself a pep talk or something of starting an argument in my head and or finishing an argument in my head and I let say I'm going to give somebody back to back or automatically I'm suffering here yeah just like that <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram and on twitter subscribing is free thank you very much let us grow like the plan is to grow the channel so much this year so consistency by the grace of god um good videos amazing videos so much for a few collaborations in the works already and in the talks already um in the talks already <laughs> and i can't wait to bring them to you yeah so thank you guys um leave love and laugh